not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody! I am Mr. Gill. I'm Patricia. And I'm M. Bill the Signs. Ah, welcome to Saturday morning, Sunday morning, sun, what day is this? Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Sunday Video Fun Tim. That's what it's called. Sunday Video Fun Tim. Uh, because uh, we forgot to put the E on the group we call this in our chat. <laughs> so, Sunday Video Fun Tim, um, which is where we talk about some crap uh, to do with Lego. Yes. Um, today, we are continuing our series on talking about the best sets of 2016. This is going to be the longest kind of series ever. We're going to see if we can stretch this well into 2017, because I like talking about it. It's fun. Um, <laughs> This is like, I think the second video we've done, I did a Periscope last week, which is alright, it was kind of fun. Uh, the second video we've done talking about uh, a little survey I put together, uh, which has been getting some nice responses. I think we're up to about 60, 65 responses so far, which is cool. I want to get to 100, which would be awesome. Um, but today we're going to talk about I forget, uh, the worst <laughs> sets of 2016. Um, so last time we talked about what we considered the best sets of 2016. We came up with a top three each. Um, and what the idea is, is we'll whittle them all down until we kind of come up with a definitive top 10 list uh, for all of 2016. Um, and so this week we'll talk about what we think is worst. Uh, in terms of the survey results, uh, I didn't write them down, but in terms of the survey results, um, the worst uh, set of all time is uh, something called Pig City Teardown. Yeah. Which is an Angry Birds set. I never stocked the Angry Birds. I haven't even seen the Angry Birds. <laughs> I just was uh, morally offended by the Angry Birds. Uh, so I never even bothered with it. Uh, but that is easily winning the worst set of all time on the survey responses. I think it's got about 35 votes out of 60, which is pretty high. Um, and then there's uh, Assault on Hoth, which is getting a lot of votes. Uh, and a couple of other ones as well. Um, I've got to talk for a lot. <laughs> At the start, I will say, uh, go and fill in the survey. You can find the link in uh, at the bottom of this video. Description. In the description, yep. yes. <laughs> and on my Instagram uh, bio as well. The link is there. So fill it in. There are prizes to be won at some point when I remember to do the prizes. <laughs> I keep on forgetting to do the prizes for the people, but I'll do the prizes. Um, so, MBL Designs. Yes. What is the worst set of 2016? Yeah, the worst set, I don't have one particular one, but the top three at least is, at least one of them is the Assault on Half, because they could have done a lot better. It felt much more like a play set for kids than a collectible set for adults. And it was a UCS, it was yeah, branded exactly. UCS, which is Ultimate Collector Series. Yeah. These are usually display sets. Yeah, so a bit more high end. A lot of people expected from it and it wasn't that so it was just looked like a pile of crap it looked like they just taken seven different sets and mash, mashed them all together yeah that's one argument a lot of people have had because a lot of different pieces looks like a lot of older sets yeah so it's very disappointing yeah and uh, another set on my top three is the Ghostbusters headquarters which oh, cheeky <laughs> <laughs> Which was very disappointing. It looks very cool, but when you actually see it in person, I have the pleasure to actually seeing it here at Mr. Gill. So, and I then realized that the overall build, how the actual doll house opening type thing opens up and closes, is really bad, and the backside and a lot of different stuff yeah we'll talk about because it probably it's probably my so i'll show you the actual <laughs> problems i have with it yeah this might just turn into a a, 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 a criticizing ghostbusters uh, video yeah. <laughs> and the last one on my list is he's this. running away no he's back <laughs> this set which is one of the sets from the like tv show Lego Star Wars Free Makers Adventure or something like that. Lego, like what the? F Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Lego like, Star Wars Free Makers Adventures. Yeah, which is a totally <laughs> made-up thing by Lego because back before Disney bought uh, Lucasfilm and Star Wars, Disney were planning to continue Star Wars, but they weren't allowed to use actual real-life Star Wars character, so <coughs> they created this. This right. ship is quite awful. Is this not new? Is this new? Yeah, this came out this year. Yeah. So. This is weird. Yeah. I don't, I don't really need to do some homework. 
Yeah. Um, like, the only <laughs> positive thing I can actually say about this set is the character has different skin colors. Okay. Which isn't that common. Uh, That's, like, the only positive thing. I don't understand why they would release that this year, considering the amount of Star Wars material they have to release. It yeah. just seems... It just seems silly. Yeah, yeah, they had to because they had it in pipeline already. Yeah. And oh. they would lose money if they didn't put it out. So. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> okay, that's a good top three. That's a good top three. Um, if you disagree, you can write in the comments. If you agree, you can write in the comments. If you speak Spanish, you have to translate it before you write in the comments. <laughs> Patricia. Okay, I'm going to go really controversial this time. Because I know you guys love that set, apparently. But I don't. It's one of the Rogue One sets, and it's that big black ship. I don't know the name of it. You know, the one that looks like a Krennic. Imperial that one. Krennic's Imperial Shuttle. I don't Shuttle. like it. Hmm. That, that's that's kind of right. <laughs> I thought I had it there. I was going to be like, this one? <laughs> I think it's somewhere on the shelf. Yeah, it's back yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't like it. It's like a big black triangle, and it's playing like, no. And then you open it up, and it looks so weird. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like it. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't think I like it particularly. You guys liked it because it's black. Did we do it in the video? Yeah, I watched the video you guys were like freaking over. so cool. I'm like, no. What you don't realise is I don't remember anything we've ever said before, ever. It's like literally at about 10.30am every Sunday I am reborn as a new person. I'm like, hello, what's happening? And then I have no idea. After this I just fall asleep. Okay, okay, credits. Imperial Shuttle. Oh, I will. I, I think that's a good choice. I don't like it. Yeah, I can understand that, but I'm kind of uh, biased towards black vehicles because I'm a big <laughs> Batman fan, so I'm a bit biased there, but I can understand that. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Do you have a number two or three? Uh, I couldn't choose. You couldn't I, choose? I walked around and it was all great. <laughs> okay, that's cool, that's cool. We'll just say Angry Birds then. Yeah, you don't have any Angry Birds then, so... <laughs> any, any of the Angry Birds. <laughs> that would have inspired me. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so that's a good one. Kranix, uh, we've got the Ghostbusters, we've got the uh, Star Scavenger. So that's two Star Wars sets in the top, yeah. in the worst of all time. Um, We're making it bad for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's no, three Star Wars because it's Salt on Hot. I will, uh, I will start with a Star Wars as well. Um, and I will go for uh, the... Um, the uh, Trying to think. Yeah, I, I I don't know any of them. I'm trying to think of one. Right? Describe it. Yeah. It's a uh, you know it's a ship thing and they fly <laughs> around. Uh, mm. No, what ship Every can it be ever. from Star Wars? <coughs> mm. No, I'm joking. Uh, Death Star, the new UCS oh, Death Star, yeah, new uh, is definitely uh, uh, I consider one of the worst sets of 2016. Not necessarily for the way the set looks or uh, its playability, but for the hike in cost. Yeah. Uh, and the kind of sheer balls <laughs> to remove a set and then release re release another set which is very very similar yeah. you know very similar in many many ways but far more expensive it just seems like creating hype and stuff for you know money reasons it it, it just doesn't seem right to me in any way the whole thing kind of Smells fishy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so that would definitely probably be in my top three, maybe number three. Yeah. Um, number two, worst of all time, would be something from the Angry Birds. As I said, I've yeah. never seen any of them, yeah. but I assume they're all utter crap. <laughs> uh, that's just a given. Uh, that's how it works. And then number one, of course, and anybody who's coming to my store, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on video. I don't think I have ever mentioned on video or even on I Instagram. I think you have mentioned it one or twice but right. you haven't said why yeah I haven't gone into detail but if you've come into my store and you've seen this on display and you've gone wow that looks awesome then you've probably been treated to 10 minutes of me going no <laughs> wait a I second have. yeah I approve. <laughs> <laughs> it's not awesome so this is the Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ which came out January 1st to much uh, anticipation. Uh, there was yeah. also a bit of controversy because it's yeah. very similar to the one that was produced on ideas yeah um, but Lego denies that to this day, um, and I think they settled it with the guy. Eventually. Yeah, they actually got two versions <coughs> of that one, so... Yeah, so that's cool. That's um, awesome. I was hugely anticipating this set, and I think I started putting it together as soon as it pretty much came out, about yeah. February, March, and I did a huge... It took me like a month and a half. <laughs> uh, uh, what's it called? Slow, slow motion? Uh, yeah, stop motion. Stop motion? Not stop motion. Not stop motion. No, no, no. Speed? You know when you do the... Time lapse. 
Time lapse. There you go. That. I did a huge time lapse of it, which took me a long time because you know if you shoot a time lapse for an hour, that only really takes like three minutes in yeah. time lapse. But an hour in here, shot in while well, people are in and out and everything like that takes a long time. Uh, but anyway, I built it and I'm hugely disappointed. Uh, two reasons. This sucks. <laughs> they should have made it modular. I don't agree with dollhouse builds. I don't see the point of them. Uh, but more importantly is that that kind of works. That this doesn't. The overhang. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is just simply a poor lack of hinges on this side, which is just... <sighs> It's just bad. It's just really, really bad. And I, before anybody asks, I have taken this apart and put it back together. It's not me. It's <laughs> and if anybody doesn't have this problem with their set, then you're very lucky. But this is the problem. And it shouldn't happen. And it's never happened to anything I've ever built in Lego before or something that kind of poor. Uh, the second reason, of course, I don't like it is because on the back, it looks like utter crap. Uh, there are bits and pieces. There are these uh, one by five Panel panels, uh, which they don't need to have. So it creates this kind of weird depth situation there, whereas it should have been uh, yeah. flat. Uh, there is like a dark, new dark green piece down there. Is it new dark green? New. Yeah, d dark green. Dark green piece here. There's a couple of gray pieces here and a couple of black pieces up here that are pieces that are used in here, but there's no need for them. The pieces were available in different colours, they are available, you could have made this a lot more seamless, a lot more nice. A lot of people go, well it's the back of the building, it should look like crap. Fine, then make it look like crap on purpose. You know? <laughs> make it look like the bad back of a building. But don't just have, it's just crap. Um, so I was very disappointed, this is definitely my top one. Uh, I doubt I will ever grow to love this. Um, and to be honest, I would take it apart, but I just don't care that much. <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah, okay, it's fine, you know? Uh, so that's my one. <coughs> it is very sturdy, though. Yeah. I move it around a lot. <laughs> it's very, very sturdy. It hasn't broken yet, which I'm quite surprised. Yeah. Um, which is good. So, top three there. So we've got some Star Wars, lots of Star Wars. That's probably <laughs> a consequence of they release a lot of Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's the most, you know, sets are released in Star Wars than anything else. Yeah. Um, so there's bound to be some shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Can we swear on this? I can swear. It's my. I fucking swear if I want. Uh, <laughs> Just looking back on our videos, I'm swearing a lot. Oh, have so. we? Okay, then that's all right. So this is this is the sweary channel. That's what it's become now. Um, <laughs> yeah, it started off you. Tell me to stop swearing. And oh, then, really? Yes. Right, I see. <laughs> then you just started swearing all the time, so... Okay. You should probably watch this with the sound down. It's, it's probably nicer that way as well. You just look at me, you're... <laughs> um, cool, so that's our top three. Bit of Star Wars. Uh, as I said, the Angry Birds is winning in the survey. Um, so now we have our kind of top three best sets. We've got those. We've got those in a list. Watch the video if you haven't seen it. We've got our top... Three worst sets. Yeah. We just did that then. You can watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some responses from the survey. And so we're slowly now coming together with a top 10. And I guess it's going to be a bottom 10 as well, I think. And I think that's probably going to happen within the next three weeks. So we should be able to really push it together. I just want more data. That's the thing. It's, it's, the more data I can get, the better it kind of reflects what the LEGO community based around this tiny little shop things. Um, so that's pretty good. Have you anything to add? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Okay, cool. So, we will be back uh, maybe next week, maybe the week after. I don't know, what's happening next week? Feels like something should be happening next week. Uh, something always happens. <laughs> yeah, in the US, a lot of the new like January stuff gets released early. For example, the Lego Batman movie stuff. Already out. Yeah, oh. uh, it's uh, in Target. So. Yeah. It's, it's shocking. We're losing out here in Sweden. Yeah, it, it's really appalling. I don't it's understand. It's not because Denmark is like our neighbor. Yeah, I know. I don't know what they're doing. Um, seems crazy. Seems crazy. Uh, so we'll be back next week, maybe maybe the week after. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's like this. It's like that. Uh, you know, these guys know I'm not very organized. It just happens. <laughs> um, you can fill out the survey, please, 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 because that would be awesome. Uh, Link in description, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitters, the, the, the YouTubes, the uh, everything that you do with the, the buttons and the pressing and the pushings and the, the gnashings of teeth and the wailing. What's that from? That's the Simpsons. And the wailing. What's this? The little Professor Frink. <laughs> oh, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> so until next time, thank you very much. And we will uh, speak to you again soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Patricia didn't say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, see, that's nice. <laughs> I was like, oh. I'm doing you for this. Oh, okay, cool. See ya. Bye.